Hey, what's up, NY Pre? My charges. It's Monster Tamer Animated back with another episode of Pokemon Reunion DX. Right? Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and check out the channel. Let's get into it. So, in the last episode, we went on a trip back to Johto Gen 2 on the train. And as per every episode, we're supposed to report to Looker. Right? So, here we are, right in front of the D Squad HQ door, and then a dialogue box pops up. That's, that always happens to me off screen. So it says, I've been expecting you. Oh, it's the doctor, Everett. It's been a while since I've seen you, dear Red. I just want to return this to you. Everett returned the stolen transporter to Red. Indeed, I'm the one who broke into your HQ. That said, there was no way I was going to let amateurs tinker with technology that was beyond them. Who knows what might have happened, but no matter, I took the opportunity to analyze this device and I was right. Inside the transporter, there's a micro fragment of some kind of replica of the Astra Stone, which means that the enemy does have my formula and that we're hunting the same individual. However, I'm not familiar with this technology, so I took the opportunity to draw inspiration from this technology and improve my device. Very soon, I'll have tracked tracked down the astro fragments scattered across space-time. So again, I suggest you don't talk to anyone about this. I'll give you back this device and you can do what you like with it. You'll have to find some excuse to justify how you found it. That said, just know that the fragment that powers this transporter has almost no energy left. In a nutshell, I still can't track you can't track you when you're in other universes, so try not to get lost again. I wouldn't recommend playing with technology you can't understand. Don't forget that the multiverse is merciless to the naive. I'll be in touch very soon with more information. Until then. Okay. Thank you, my boy. Now let's go and see what Looker says. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Red, as you heard from Lilith, we, the transporter you risked so much to bring back has been stolen. And it's all my fault. I should have taken more precautions. I apologize. Huh? What do you mean you found him? But Red, were you able to find this individual? Hey, answer me, won't you? Who was, the, who was that guy? Why did he steal the transporter from us? Basil, easy. I'm convinced that if Red remains silent, it's for a good reason. Then let's trust him. I'm sure he'll explain it to us sooner or later. Indeed. The main thing is that he was able to get his hands on the transporter. If Red says he can't say anything at this moment, then it must be something well worth the risk. So let's forget about sorry, so let's forget that story and focus on what's most important. There's no telling who else might show up here again. We are going to have to test this thing out as soon as possible, but having that said that, you need to understand that you're risking anything to anything and everything by activating it. Are you willing to take that risk? Um, yes, I guess. Alright then. Children, promise me you'll come back safe and sound. Is that understood? I promise, boss. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about that. Worry about a thing. Very good. Go ahead, Red. Activate this machine of your of misfortune. Take care. That's an order. Um, where are we? A basement? Um, I'm having a little trouble breathing, and it's suddenly very cold. You're right. It's freezing. <laughs> and I'm having trouble breathing too. What are we going to do now? What's this? Why does this guy look exactly like the well, similar to the professor? Same hair, same clothes, or similar hair? Similar clothes. What's this? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, we... We got lost and... Wait. He looks like the guy who stole the transporter. Catch him. He must not escape. This guy has important data on us. Ah, jeez. They're already aware of my presence, aren't they? Excuse me, but... Are you being chased? Let's just say it's a habit for me. But you shouldn't stay here. If you get caught by Ragnarok, it's all over for you. By Ragna what? Oh, but that thing you've got around your arm, it looks like a transporter. 
but a rather archaic version. Oh, so they're in the future now, or, or in a different dimension where it's, the transporter has been developed more. You know what this is? Can you tell us more about this device? We're just looking for information and... The basement must be searched. Bring me that man's head. It's an order from Madame Serena. Do you mind if I borrow that for a moment? Let's see. Hey, you totally ripped it, ripped it right off him. What was the point of asking then, huh? Oh, it looks like you've got more than enough for another trip. Perfect. If I set the coordinates here and synchronize the dimensional vectors with my own transporter. Sublime, perfect, we're off. I see something. He's, it's him. Catch him, quick. For the queen. But where are we? One of my hideouts. I was planning to escape on foot and get here by route. By a route, I only I know. But if I am quite, but I'm quite surprised. I've never seen anyone use a transporter like that before. And using such an old model too. I suppose you must be from another dimension. How did you know? Come on, be sensible. As I've just said. The three of you appeared in the basement of one of the most important buildings in the Lock Zone, with a transporter no less. From there, it's, e it's easy to imagine the rest. The what? No matter. Get out of here now. But we don't even know where we are. We just wanted to test this transporter as you call it. Such naivety. Uh, you were testing out the transporter, you say? What a brilliant idea. But I can't help you any more than that. Anyone who uses a transporter is expected to know the risks involved. And there's no way I'm sharing my infinite energy with you. It's far too scarce a resource. Infinite energy? I read something about that somewhere. Hey, help us get home. You're not very nice. We helped you escape. You've just saved me some time to tell you the truth. I had many other ideas for escape. I know this building like the back of my hand this building so you're still in the building okay anyway now i've got my work my work cut out for me if you refuse to leave i'll be forced to transport you to a random dimension i don't have time to waste with you it's a lost cause he won't listen to us you mean we're trapped in this dimension forever but what about team chronos and the boss what did you say that name sounds familiar yeah we're tracking down team chronos they all have transporters like this one they intervene in dimensions and cause a whole bunch of problems. Let's see. Team Kronos, Team Kronos. Oh, it's true that I've managed to hack a report from one of those seventh moron morons, but it's all very mysterious. They've also used the strength of legendary Pokemon to trigger certain events, but we don't know why yet. What did you just say? A few Pokemon? That's nuts. Yes, that's what I said. Is that a problem? What's this all about? It looks like he is in another world. I guess we'll just have to show him. But that's... That's a magnificent weapon you've got there. A what? A weapon, you say? Is that how you treat Pokemon? Very interesting. I've never seen such a model. Hey! Are you even listening to what we're saying? I think we can work something out. Here's what I propose. You leave me this specimen? specimen and I'll help you get back to where you came from. No, a bonus. I'll even teach you how to use the transporters. What do you think? What? Did he lose his mind? What's he gonna ask for next? Mawile is Lilith's best friend. You're really sick asking something like that. On top of that, you dare to treat her friend as a weapon? Lilith? Hey, you're not actually going to... I... If this is our only chance to... No, 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 and no, you can't do that. I refuse. Hey there. Can't you, can't you see she's suffering? Stop right there. All I did was suggest an alternative, but that's up to you. Just a moment. My little Mawile. Is it because of your peculiar color that you find yourself alone? You too, then. You find yourself lost. In that, in that case, come along. We'll both become each other's refuge. No, Lilith. Lilith? I can't say Lilith, guys. You can't do that. I'll give him one of my Pokemon instead. Forget about it. I refuse. 
It's this model that interests me most. Oh, well, that's it, you bastard. No one knows what he plans to do with her. He just talked about Mawile as if, as if it were a weapon, an object. You're really going to sacrifice your partner to save us? Do you see another solution? I don't want to interfere, but if you ask me, you won't survive in this dimension without my help. Once again, the rules here are totally different from elsewhere. And as I said earlier, if Ragnarok finds you, they'll quickly realize you're not from around here. And you will surely be eliminated. What? It's up to you, kid. Either leave this model and save your life and that of your friends by returning to your dimension, or my sentries will show you the way out and, well, I don't have to draw you a picture, do I? That's disgusting. You're blackmailing her. Well, it's all your fault. You're all supposed to be aware of the dangers of traveling between universes, aren't you? Consider yourself lucky to be able to pay for your naivete with something other than your own life. Mawile, I'm sorry, I... If you, if you only knew how much I love you, and I'm sure, I want you to know that. No matter the distance, no matter how many realities separate us, my love for you will last forever. I don't need, you, need to ask you to promise that you won't hurt her. I can't promise you anything, especially in our reality. You worthless piece of basil. Stop. I'm begging you. Please. Will Good. Give me your transporter. I'll take care of recharging it as much as I can. Interdimensional travel is limited to a certain number, depending on the model of transporter. This one will only last a few more trips. Let's see. And there you have it. I don't suppose you know how to use it. It's relatively complex. I've been able to program the last point of your departure as your arrival point. Then all you have to do is activate it. Basically, it wasn't programmed for the right dimensional coordinates. That's probably why you found yourselves here. You mean, is it possible to program a specific arrival point? It's essential that you program this transporter to send us to Team Kronos' headquarters. It can be done. I just need to go back to the first date of use. If what you're telling me is true, then the place where this transporter was created should be their headquarters. That said, you will not be able to program the other trips yourselves. Keep this in mind. Even if you have the energy to travel, you won't have the skills to tamper with this technology. In fact, I wouldn't re recommend it. You could screw up the transporter and find yourself in a completely different reality, which means our return and the journey to Team Kronos HQ, our ultimate mission. Will that be the last trip we make with this gizmo? Exactly. So what will you decide? Program it, program it so we can go home, then so we can get the enemy's HQ and then send us home again. I understand. Did you need something else? Red, please. Activate the terrible device so we can go home. The chief is waiting for us. Lilith, Lilith great. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Good luck with the rest. Red activates a transporter. So Lilith, Lilith you, loses her shiny mawile. Farewell, my other half, she says. Oh wait, those coordinates were where those kids came from. Isn't that the place I visited recently, right? You're finally back. Thank, Ar Ar Thank Arceus, you're safe and sound. Did something happen? You've been gone for almost two whole days. Two days? But that's impossible. We've only been gone a few hours. Lilith, is everything alright? Lilith. What's wrong with her? That was the first time I've ever seen her cry. What happened, kids? I'll explain everything, boss. Red, try to go cheer, cheer her up. I know only you can do that. I'll explain everything to the boss. Don't worry. Alright, let's go. Alright, no, but I wonder where the hell she went. That's a question that needs to be asked. Okay, okay, okay. Probably she's outside once we get outside. Nope. Um, could she be at Bill's area up here? Maybe, 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 maybe. 
I have to go around that side. Oh, a lichen rock. Kinda cool, I wasn't expecting that. Dusk form too, I do have quick balls. Hopefully this works. And it did, now we have a lichen rock that we'll probably never use. Never use, just an enslaved lichen rock. We should have been able to put it to work like in Pal World. Alright, there she is. I'm sorry I felt like that, but I I'm so so sorry. None of this would have happened if I hadn't shown Mawile to that guy. Yes, I know that if I hadn't done it, we wouldn't have been able to come back here. And we wouldn't have been able to get all this information about transporters, but it still hurts to have to part with her. She's been with me every every step of the way. And I know exactly how it feels to be abandoned in a world you don't know. For the moment, let's go back to the headquarters. They must be waiting for us to launch our final mission. I'll be alright, don't worry. Alright, so we have to go back to the HQ. And it says final mission, am I getting close to completing this game? Am I finally close to completing this game? But well, the question is, do I go back to playing Pokemon Reborn or do I find something else to play? I kind of want to complete Pokemon Reborn. The reason I stopped playing Reborn in the first place and started playing this was because Reborn's views were going down. But then again, the views on this have also dropped, so... And everything else that I'm playing at the moment. So might as well just enjoy myself and play something that I'm actually enjoying play something that I'm actually enjoying while just uploading the content that, that was the point of the channel in the first place enjoy myself but share my my enjoyment or a lot thereof with the world on YouTube and hopefully see what happens if I get views and so on. Alright, so we're back. Do I have to talk to him? Well, is everyone here? Red, Lilith, Basil, you are the best people in the D squad. You've triumphed over a number of challenges. You who are exceptional trainers, ready to give their all to save their dimension. I declare what I hope will be the Dimensional Squad's ultimate mission. The unknown awaits. Some of you have had to make great sacrifices to protect this dimension. But all these sacrifices will not be in vain. You will triumph. Basil. Excuse me guys if you hear my, 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 my mouth. Uh, must sound disgusting, but I'm kind of dry mouth right now. I don't know why. You're an exceptional trainer. You inherited the title of Three Golem Slayer on your important mission. Lilith. The first member of the D squad, you made history as the first trainer to take on the three legendary dogs, Red. You triumphed over the, the leagues and the masters of the other regions. You've delete, defeated the mystical creatures Dialga and Palkia confronted and saved Hoenn from disaster at the hands of ancestral Pokemon Kyogre and Groudon. And the list goes on. You are not only the hope of our world, but of our entire dimension. Are you ready to change the course of history? Are you ready to put an end to Team Chronos? Always ready, boss. I'm ready. All right, D Squad. You only have one mission. Come back alive. Prove to me that I was right to have had this blind faith in you. Let me f let the final mission begin. All right, activate the transporter. Are we there yet? We seem to have arrived in some sort of headquarters. The atmosphere is chilling, but it's also kind of special. Okay, here's what I propose. I suppose the place must be packed with cameras, so I've... So they're bound to be aware of our arrival. We have to split up to cover as much ground as possible. It'll be more efficient, I think. What do you say, Lilith? Hmm. You were saying? Hey, stop daydreaming. Get a move on. We're deep in enemy territory right here. Yes, I'm sorry, I my mind was elsewhere. Well, whatever. Let's disperse, okay? We keep in touch with the DE comms anyway. Take care of yourself. G 
Come on, scatter. Alright, so I'm gonna try to skip out as many of these battles as possible. But I guess we should be using the teleporters. Alright, so this guy is not battling us. Why do I have a feeling I should battle this one? A girl just stole my Kronos bracelet. She didn't seem to be playing around. Okay. Was that Lilith? Oh shit, he got me. I... I just fought back... I just fought back from a mission in Hoenn region and I took a real beating from some savages using dragons. You're going to help... You're going to help me let off some steam. Whatever. Team Kronos Grunt. Let's whoop his ass, bro. This drift limb is gonna have aftermath, I can bet. But anyway, Shadow Ball! Oh, it, it didn't take it down. <laughs> I thought that would have taken it down, honestly. Another one. Oh shit, Destiny Bond. Oh, come on, bro. Why do you have to go and do that, huh? 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 Why do you have to go and do that? Alright. If he sends out another ghost, then Snorlax has crunch. Yep. Dark Pulse! He flinched? Oh, come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And there it goes, it's down. Alright, so um I think we should battle this one. Right. Um that sounds like a good plan. Give me a second. Alright, let's go. Frig, where my controller? Okay, there it is. I just got back from the Universe region and I took quite the beating. The guy literally had a legendary Pokemon who he actually talked to a legendary. I hope you don't have that kind of stuff on your team. I feel like this portal or teleporter in this room might lead somewhere. Alright, so this might be a long episode because I'm trying to complete it says we are on the last leg, so I'm trying to do everything in this one and see if it actually ends here. Trevenant. Oh, come on. Um, Flame Thor! I can't believe um, Mewtwo didn't take that thing down. Anyway. Let's see. We booted the PC. Okay, so... Someone's PC. Their team is fully recovered. So this one leads to a healing area and a PC. Um, this one? Oh, this one leads to Lilith. But I can't... Oh, yeah, I actually can. Red? Oh, it's you. It's you. Okay, so what are you doing here? Why are you just standing there? Why are you just standing there? Uh, this way, I guess? Alright, so let's go and step on this tile. Okay, it only teleported us to a big nugget, which is good, but... Not what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for... The proper way. Alright, so this one teleports us to Basil and a Nugget. Ah, Red, how's it going? So far I've found nothing but lousy grunts, but I quickly took care of them. <laughs> Say, Red, can I talk to you for a second? It's about Lilith. I get the feeling that losing her Mawile is really hurting her. 
I'm afraid she'll never recover. And there's the fact that this creep looks exactly like the guy who turned up at HQ out of nowhere. Do you think it would ever be possible to get it back? Um, I don't know. Maybe? So am I. That's what I think. I'm sure we can cheer her up. I refuse to make her a promise we can't keep, but I'm sure we'll find her. Find her? We'll, we need to stick together, right? I need to stick together. It didn't say right. Alright, so to get to down there or to get to that one, there's ba there are battles. And now traveling between dimensions can have its advantages. Recently I traveled to a world full of Pokemon theme parks. As soon as I'm done with you, I'll go back and back to having fun. <laughs> Really now? You think so? Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, so it's just on, in the storage room again where we get an ether. So I guess the next one is going to teleport us there. This one. Okay, this one actually teleported us to Basil, so... I didn't read that. I've had too many battles in here already, so... <laughs> I kind of just button mashed through that. Mimikyu. Break its disguise. Attack fell. Okay. I didn't know Play Rough could actually drop our attack. Pain split. So it hurt me and healed itself. Okay. Defense fell. Come on. Pain split again. Can we get another defense drop? So Crunch's effect. Has Crunch's effect always been to drop the defense and not flinch? Is it Bite that's the one that flinches? Oh, all, well, only flinches. Charm. That's gonna drop my attacker, right? Doesn't matter. Because one hit should take you down. Delmise. Anchor shot. Okay, so it took us down. Hmm. Guess I have to go for her. Mewtwo! Even though Mewtwo is weak against ghost type moves, but it has Shadow Ball. Damn, that Power Whip did a lot of damage. Damn, bro. Alright, so, oh, come on. Another battle? Kingdom Ren C, I think it was clearly an error of the past. But I was soon called back to the to Commander David. So as soon as I'm done with you, I'm going back. This is what I hate when they do in these Pokemon fan games. And they tend to do it a lot. They have a hideout with grunts. They have a hideout with a lot of grunts. And they force you to battle every single one of them. It's so con time consuming, bro. And uh, annoying. And repetitive. Like I just want to get to the, the story. I don't want to be battling random grunts that make no sense. At least give us an opportunity to skip them, bro. Like by dodging them, the timing of them turning or something. Damn. So annoying. Mind reader. Bye bye, Shedinja. <sighs> okay, so now I have to figure out which one of these teleport me to the right area. Okay, I guess that one. Oh shit, this is a freaking um, Ultra Beast. Blast Fallen. Yes, that's its name, right? Blast Fallen. What, 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 um type is this thing earthquake yeah I, I guessed I guessed it was a fire type so I guess it is or maybe it's not I don't know but earthquake is super effective come on 
Hurry up and go down. Oh, it burned us. That's gonna further drop our attack. Calm mine. Alright, it's down, it's down. Either way. So that definitely wasn't the right tile. So which one of the tiles? Yeah, I guess that one. Was it two max revives? Was it this one? Ah, oh, come on, bro! More battles. Do you know that? The, did you know that several legendary Pokemon have been released by Master Spectra in our in other dimension? Who knows what might have happened? Let's see where this tile leads. Ah, to more battles. Just a second, okay? I'm still numb from my last mission, which was a failure, by the way. This kid literally attacked me with his Pikachu. Anyway, I'm going to take it out on you. It's crazy, bro. Okay, so now I have a feeling I have to step on this from the side, because if I go from below, then it's going to trigger the fight. Okay, it still triggers the fight. On my last mission, I came across some strange guys who looked a bit like us. They were called Team Break. Talk about an original name. A nice bunch of clowns, but hey, their boss blew, blew me away. So I'll do the same to you. Why did that trigger the, the fight before it triggered the teleportation thing? It's crazy, bro. Sucker punch. Come on, come on. Move a bit faster. Brave bird. Thank you for hurting yourself. That gave me the opportunity to actually take you down. Bruna Regis. Power split. Switched on, switched on the, um, whatchamacallum, the abilities too. Alright, so Rooney Regus is down, Team Chrono's done, Grunt has been beat it, beaten, then we got teleported. And then we use this. Alright, another teleportation tile. The teleporter seems deactivated. Two buttons appear to control this activation. Oh, can Christ's sake. Stuck between several bookcases and Pokemon Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a hybrid creature created from scratch by a scientist. Seems relatively powerful. He will add it to our list of targets. Subject abandoned because of lack of time. It's a sort of futuristic electronic monitor. Several files are, files are displayed on the interface. Uh, file 1. Uh, reported creatures called legendaries and dimensions are considered gods of the weapons. Their existence seems to be crucial to the survival of all worlds, and yet their powers seem uncontrollable. I have compiled a non exhaustive list of creatures that might interest me. The rest of the page has been torn out. Let's see. File 2 The Ultimate Weapon and. The Azoth project, we found several reports from a region called Hoenn in a dimension adjacent to our own. This report allegedly contains a plan to activate a certain ultimate weapon powered by infinite energy. This is our first step towards replacing the energy source powering transporters. Okay. Report on infinite energy. After a trip to the certain to a certain region, we were able to visit the Devon Corporation according to their scientists. Every creature gives off an energy called infinite energy. Obtaining this resource would, would enable us to move to the next level. It would mean combining the futuristic technology of teleporters with infinite energy. Two technologies, two dimensions, a single creation. Case study Ultra Beast. As we traveled between dimensions, we realized that they were also creatures from different dimensions that could travel through breaches. I was able to chat with our prof Burnett from the 
Alpha Universe to learn more about the origin of these creatures. Burnett taught us all about ultra wormholes, similar to the wormholes we use to get around. It would seem that these creatures are almost invincible. However, it would seem that a creature could itself enable travel between dimensions. Interesting. All right, so now I have to find how the hell to activate this thing. Several lines of code, blah, blah, blah. I didn't see any conspicuous switches, bro, when I was heading here. Incursion problem with the universe, recording master spectra. We need to provoke as many incursions into universes as possible. But what will happen to our own universe if we carry on like this? Whatever. Improvements, multi -trip, multiple trip subject no longer disintegrates. I don't want to hear all that, bro. I just want to see how the hell we open this thing. Alright, so we found this one. It says, ultra sophisticated computer on closer inspection. It is possible to activate a button control in certain teleporters. Activate it. Cool. Alright, so we get we got that one. So I guess we need to find another one of those. I'm actually gonna go here and heal up. Just to get the PP back. Where would, would another computer be though? Where did we see another computer? Oh, here it is. Several coordinates are displayed on the screen, blah 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 blah. Okay, that's not the one. Does she see anything? If I, yeah, I'm fine, just inspecting the machines. Don't worry about me. Okay. Let's chat to her again and see. What's up? I told you I was fine. Let's get on with the mission. Come on, bro. Let's try this one. Several coordinates displayed on the screen, blah, blah, blah. Nope. So maybe it was just one switch? It says two switches, though. It said two switches. Nope. So, let's go. Where do you think you're going? Did we step on this teleporter before? It doesn't seem like it because we had to battle that guy. Yeah, we, we didn't get this dread plate, okay. We definitely didn't come here before. It's a so sophisticated extract Pokemon Vital Energy. It seems to have been used recently. Several coordinates, blah, blah, blah. Bro, why am I not getting any more switches? What the, f bro? Well, hopefully that one switch actually activated the damn thing because none of these other computers have any switches on them. I guess this one then in the same room it's a sort of futuristic yeah this is one several files displayed on the interface no I don't want to open sh oh, come on get off my screen bro bro I've pressed the one button I've seen I've interacted with all the computers. I've interacted with all the freaking computers, man. And only one of them had a freaking button. This is the only one that had a button. What the frig, bro? Oh, 
All right, all right, all right. Let's. It's a criminal plant. No, I'm not trying to read those right now. I just, I'm just, I just want to find this freaking switch. Max repel. Where did this one teleport me? Oh, okay, in there. Don't want to be in there. Come on, bro. Alright, alright, so let's go back down here. A surprise plant? What the hell? Not on that. I pressed the switch on that one already, right? So what should I do? Alright, let's teleport here again. Ah, oh, it's a criminal plant. It's a simple feature is the device. A closer inspection, a button can be activated. Activated. Yes. Finally. A key is hidden in a pot. Red obtained the key. Okay. Nothing there. Snowlax gave me a thunderstone. Okay. What's this teleporter for? Okay. Do we have to fight all of them? I fight that one, right? Oh, okay, so there are three teleporters. Right, let's just go back to this one. I think I can take this guy down. If I lead with Mewtwo, that's what I did the last time, right? Red, I've been waiting for you. Don't mind the mess. I often tend to spread myself too thin. I'm not surprised you managed to sneak into my our headquarters. I also know that your friends are with you. You have a lot of courage, all of you, throwing yourself into the lion's den like that. To be honest, I didn't expect so few of you to show up. When I gave you that transporter, it was indeed so that you could come back much stronger than before. I'd obviously imagine that you'd bring more reinforcements, but whatever. You're here now, and that's all that matters. I can finally face you without holding back. Master Spectra will finally reach his goal. He just asked us to keep an eye on the place, stop stop you and get back what we were doing get to back what get back to what we were doing enough chit chat red doing all your travels all the missions you've carried out to try and stop us what have you learned how did it feel to fight in different dimensions he said enough chit chat and then proceeds to talk crazy how did it feel to fight battles that would never have been never seen the light of day in the first place all those feelings that drive you to save your, di your own dimension are you acting out of urgency or for the love of battle your legend you're a legendary you legendary trainer of your dimension give me the answer through our last fight show me what you really you're really made of bro the guy said enough chit chat and then proceeds to hit us with another paragraph it's crazy bro Okay, a Torterra, so you might have. I hope you're ready. I want to take you on with everything. All right, we got it. We got it down with an ice beam. Yes, you are. You're very strong. That said, that said, I think I'm even stronger. Look at that. Let's go. Let's give it our best shot and may the best man win. Right, it's faster than us. We survived the Shadow Ball though. It didn't survive the Ice Beam. Right, we can hit another Ice Beam on this. It should go down. 
That's three one hit KOs. Alright, so this one is gonna take us down, definitely. Let's do a stab side strike. Oh, we survived that? Damn. He used the full restore, so I guess we can take a chance to do that too. I'm so happy to finally be able to face an opponent without holding back. He used the full restore again. I've seen you seize the chance to get gave your last shot. He has one more Pokemon, a Lucario. He becomes stronger than it looks like you've become stronger than before. If we're faster, it should go down with a side strike. Oh come on. Almost, 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 almost. Let's have a look, I'm waiting for you. I just need to hit you with one ear slash and you're done. That's cool. Oh, he has one more Pokemon. I'm very happy to meet a trainer like you. No one has ever been able to offer me such a duel. So let me attack you with all my might one last time. This is my way of bidding you farewell, Red. Tyranitar, feel all my passion through the, this keystone. Here goes. Okay. Sandstream. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not gonna not gonna um mega evolve that um charizard let's do that for storm bread it's time ready my last pokemon this will probably be probably be my last duel with you so i'll give it my all tyrant it's our we're off tyrant is reacting to blah 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 i think this game has a post game as well right not very effective but i did do some damage and that's what i wanted to do Stone Edge? How'd you get two attacks, bro? Oh yeah, because I had to recharge. Okay, yeah. And if I can hit the Hydro Cannon, that would be good. Pursuit. Hydro Cannon! Oh shit, bro. Come on. I should have taken it down, bro. What the hell? Alright, bye. It was a great fight. Thanks, Red. I hold no grudges, and I have no hatred towards you. On the contrary, this defeat is good for me. I have no excuses now. You're, you're much stronger than I am. I could feel your determination in that last battle. I suppose you'll be trying to stop Master Spectra next. No matter what I tell you, you won't give up. I have activated part of your teleporter. You should be able to access it if you've beaten my brother. A word of advice, Red, just be careful. Master Spectra is virtually invincible. There's only one person he fears, but never mind, you'll see for yourself. I've seen your friends fight against the Grunts. They'll exude the same passion as you do. The look in their eyes during battle, their determination. Is it a feeling you all possess? This desire to fight to the bitter end, even if all is lost in advance. I wish I could have faced them too. But the winner triumphs while the, the loser crashes. Thanks again for this farewell gift thread. I think I'll I'll start training more from scratch now. So I wish you all the best for the future. Since we don't come from the same dimension, I won't have any chance of running into you again. So this is probably goodbye. One last thing in the future. Watch out for the trainers representing the seven colors. And thank you again for rekindling the flame of battling me. Shit, bro. Y'all talk so much. Talk so damn much, damn dog. And we have two more battles and a lot more dialogue left. So I think we have to go to this side. Alright, so it's Goliath. It's empty. Well... Uh... How about that? Did you manage to sneak in here without any trouble? I'm impressed. I must say you've earned my respect in this regard. You've always li uh, lived up to your, our, to your principles. You've always tried to get in our way from the start and you've managed. You've never given up. I must applaud your audacity. That said, there's no way you're going to beat me again. This time I'm going to pulverize you. I'm going to give it my all. And I'm going to make sure you can't get up again. 
I'll show you what happens when I give it my all. Bring it on, Red. Come on, come on. You are challenged by Team Kronos admin Goliath. At least Goliath didn't talk as much as freaking David, bro. Oh. I only have one goal to make a bite, make you bite the dust. I'm going to prove just how superior I am. Really? I'm coming, Red. I'm going to destroy your team with one blow. Can't believe I thought Ice Beam would have done more damage than that. You won't let me run away? Should have gone for the air slash again, bro. That would have taken me down. Very well then. I won't hold back this time. Oh, and I'm locked into the thunder. The thunderbolt. Luckily, he didn't use Pursuit. Thank you for the HP, and down you go! You don't know how much I hate you standing in my way like this. Alright, let's use Earthquake for this one, because Giga Drain is not going to do that much. You're just like him, you look at me with such disdain. Alright, we have a Corviknight. Oh, wipe that look off your face. There's nothing really I can do to Corviknight. Just do as much chip damage as possible. You have seen how strong you've become, blah blah blah. I have seen how strong you've become. Restored its health. Oh, come on, bro. That should have taken it down. But anyway. While he uses his full restores, I can just do damage with Flamethrower. He's gonna use another one. Oh, he didn't. He has a he has another Pokemon. Oh, come on. This is his last Pokemon, though. Oh, come on! You missed the blast burn, bro. Protected itself. Just made me use three blast burn PP. Oh, he has one more. Going to exterminate you once and for all. Gengar. I'm really sell my soul to the devil to defeat you. I'm ready to sacrifice everything. Mega evolve Gengar and bring me victory. Blah blah blah. Norlax should be able to tank. Well, he missed the thunder, so don't even have to thank tank anything. And there it goes, he's beaten. Gah, I can't it can't be. I give it my all I give it all I had, blah blah blah. Can't be true. It's impossible. After all that work, all this determination, before it was my brother and now you. I can't bear my weakness again and again. To hell with Team Chrono, Spectra is much too strong for you anyway. And I know for a fact that he doesn't care about us. I went along with him knowingly because I was convinced he had something up his sleeve from the moment he took me and David in. But I've always felt that my brother got preferential treatment. That's why I couldn't stand losing to anyone but him. All I care about now is destroying you, Red. You and my brother. You can access that damn teleport. Can control whatever you want. I don't care what happens. I'll find you, I swear, Red. And I'll come back as your worst nightmare. Also, I have to press the buttons. Oh, come on. 
All right, let's get this long ass thing over with and prepare for a lot more dialogue. Look who dares honor us with his presence. The living legend, the savior of humanity, Red. You're, remar you're a remarkable trainer. I must admit, sorry, I, I, I blanked out there. And I had a feeling you'd end up here sooner or later. David kept me informed about the transporter he'd given you. He even begged me not to intervene so that he could take care of you himself. He and Goliath are my precious pawns, so I had to give them that, give him that. But it looks like he wasn't able to fulfill his role. They are no use to me now anyway. You see, sometimes even you have the will. Even if you have the will, it's impossible to reach your goal. I'm perfectly aware of that. But that's, but let's get down to the business. I've never had a chance to actually be alone with you. I suppose you must have an astronomical amount of questions about me. You're probably wondering what I'm up to, right? It's very simple. This ultra wormhole intends to send me to the Kalos region, to a place called Geosenge Town. I'm sure you've heard, never heard of this town. So how about this, a little history lesson? Surely you're aware that your dimension and all the others you've wandered into are similar, right? Basically, there are a multitude of dimensions, but the one I'm talking about right now is quite similar to yours. Imagine a region exactly like Kanto or Hoenn, with the exact same people, but with a single unique change in history. Long ago, in the remote region of Kalos, a bloody war broke out. The war spared no one. Humans and Pokemon alike suffered losses. This war took place under the yoke of a king who possessed prodigious technology, knowledge for his, technological knowledge for his time. This man had the idea of creating an ultimate weapon that would put an end to this war. The only drawback is that the energy source for his ultimate weapon were Pokemon and their vital energy. This energy is found in many of your dimensions, technologies for example, I call it infinite energy. This energy is contained everywhere, Pokeballs, communication systems. The creation of this weapon was a turning point in the history of this dimension, but it all, it's also thanks to this energy that I've been able to develop my own version of the transporter. At first, I tried to kill two birds with one stone, get my hands on the plans for the ultimate weapon and the legendary Pokemon. I'm chasing the legendary Pokemon I'm chasing today, but each time I was too late. A host of heroes had already fought or caught the, this Pokemon. I had to be persistent for each legendary Pokemon I, I added to my collection. And, all, and of all the heroes I've vanquished time and time again, you are the one who surprised me the most. Okay, you see where I come from, Pokemon, these creatures, as you call them, they are not part of my world. It's all about humanity and technology, technological progress, but that's not all. Politics, money, and war are omnipotent, omnipresent concepts where I come from, and all I want is to return to my dimension. But now that I know it's possible for anyone to enter my dimension, I'm going to use the strength and power of these creatures from your worlds to protect my dimension from a potential multiversal war. I have sacrificed everything, everything red, everything to be able to set up this project. Having said that, I can't go home at the moment. There are so many dimensions, it would take a stroke of luck for me to land in the right one. For fortunately, my willpower has resurfaced. You understand, right? My desire to return home is far too strong to give up here. I had to acquire my own knowledge of the world that was totally unknown, and I had to take risks. And today is another step towards my goal. So I'm off to Geosense through this portal. There, I'll meet the Pokemon of Destruction, Vettel. This is the last piece I had to equip myself with, the most destructive Pokemon. I'll then use its power to destroy every other dimension and to prevent, prevent anyone from intervening in mine. And I'll put an end to all this madness. So if your resolve is as strong as you claim, if you if you're going to do everything in your power to prevent me from finding and protecting my own universe, I won't hesitate to eliminate you too. I've fought countless other heroes to achieve my goal. So think carefully if you don't want to end to want me to add your name to the long list. Red. Oh come on, these two. Are you alright? We took care of the grunt. 
Did you manage to catch their boss? I heard the sound of an ultra wormhole just now. You must have escaped through it, right? Did he escape? The ultra wormhole is still here. Come on, come on, hurry up. Red, Lilith, we gotta go. Hang on a sec. What is it, Lilith? We don't have the time right now. I can't go with you. What are you talking about? Do you really think this is the moment to joke around like that? Don't be silly. You know very well that I'm not one for jokes. Why are you talking to us like that? What the hell is wrong with you? Red, Basil, I want to battle you here and now. What? I can't believe this. She's gone crazy. Did you hit your head? I abandoned my lifelong friend in an unknown universe. How do you know I won't do it again? Hey, put away your Pokeball right now, Basil. I need answers. But what answers are you even talking about? We're on a mission. Spectre just took off for who knows where. And you, you... If you refuse to face me now, no problem. I'll just have to attack them. Attack first then. You're serious then? Can't think straight anymore. I can't even tell what's right and what's wrong anymore. I'm not sure I'm strong enough to protect any, anyone anymore. I need to know. You too, Red. And don't hold back. She's actually serious. No way. Do you really think I'm joking? I've had enough of Basil, enough of your childish attitude. If you don't want to fight, then stand aside. I'll take Red. Take on Red, then. You give me the answer I'm looking for. Shut up! What? Yes, I told you to shut up. Do you really think we're going to fight each other in the middle of a mission? To put ourselves in danger? And if more grunts show up? We didn't become this strong by fighting each other. I don't know what to do, Basil. How would you feel if you were me abandoning one of your friends? You can attack me. I don't care what happens. I'd never fight you under those conditions. I see. You're the stubborn type. But I know that Red understands how serious I am. And even, even if you refuse to face me no matter what... Lilith, don't do it! I'm going to have to force your hand, Red. By attacking you myself. What the... Alright, come on. Absolutely must know Red if you're worthy of being whatever. Second wind. Okay, it has focus sash. Okay, so she switched out the Frost Lass and sent out Delphox. This has second win too. I hate this ability, bro. I so I hate it so much. Mawile is gone. I'm the reason. Bro, you have Focus Sash too. Freaking crazy, damn. I'm ashamed, ashamed that we have Mawile there, but we left Mawile there, blah blah blah. A Kingdra. I don't really have anything that can damage a Kingdra right now. You can't imagine how I hate myself to be so hopeless, whatever. She has three more Pokemon. I'm not even sure who I'm pretending to be anymore. Alright, so we're down. And the memories keep coming back. I know we're on a mission, but I can't help it. I'm lost. Man, you need a slap to the face, that's what you need. Okay, so the Destiny, Destiny Bond is going to take down Snorlax, okay. That's perfect timing. Oh, and that was perfect choice for me. Okay, 
we have the advantage, but we didn't do as much damage as I thought we would have. Oh, and it got, it, it's got second wind too. Second wind. Alright, don't take us out. Alright, we survive. There goes. My wild sacrifice, I can't let it have been, been in vain. That's why I have to get stronger, so I must find the answer to this question. Red, I'll show you this Pokemon I bonded with on my very first mission to Hoenn. Neither you nor Basil nor the Chief has seen it. Have seen it. Show yourself, Latias. Oh, a legendary. A legendary. Legend, legendary? This light is... Is the stone Madame Claire gave me the other day? Why does it glow like that? The sadness I feel, Latias. Can you feel my pain too? In that case, I'll share my feelings with you. Freaking Mega Larius. Stored power, actually, and it didn't take us down. That's good. Oh, and we got a poison. Alright, alright. Okay, it's faster than us. Too bad. Uh, we only have one Pokemon, bro. I have to revive someone. Just so that the... the... Let's see. Mega versus Mega. Oh shit, it used Ice Beam. Oh, we survived. And it's down! I lost to you again, Red Butt. Oddly enough, I'm not sad about losing to you, Red. I even feel soothed. Am I a trainer strong enough to protect my Pokemon? Only by facing you could I be sure of that. And after that fight, I know that my ties with... with them are strong enough to withstand any ordeal. And I'm sure Mawile feels the same wherever she is. I'm sorry, my friends. I'll take care of your Pokemon. Basil, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't hurt you too much, did I? Of course not. I've taken hundreds of slaps. So are, you, are we good? Are you done with your little performance yet? Idiot. We'll never let, let you down. And if you need us to vent to, to figure everything out. I'll be your man as soon as we get back from our mission. We're going to stop that blonde guy in the weird clothes and we're going to find that lunatic who shamefully stole your mawile, I promise. Basil, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, the squad bound is bound even tighter than before. Let's go find the other masked freak and let's get a move on. I have a feeling that Team Kronos imbeciles are on their way. All right, let's go together. Ah, oh, shit. Why do you have to chill? To you couldn't just give me some time? Damn. Wow, this place is huge. Where are we now? This place, huh? Have you been here before? I just have a feeling of deja vu. Anyway, we've got to find Spectra and fast. We'll ask around. Let's spread out, okay? Ugh, 